Can you make a Marvel poster? If you're anything like me, which I think everybody is because I'm very self-centered and very selfish and think the world revolves around me, I have also looked at all of these Marvel posters and thought to myself, they're very bad. They are ugly, uncreative, just bland and repetitive. They all do the same exact tropes and it's almost a parody at this time. Some of these posters are just plain visually unabashedly busy. We all talk about how bad these posters are, how lazy and little effort they require to make given the right PNGs, because don't get me wrong, all of these things are multi-million dollars, money you could never imagine in your hands being spent in Photoshop. Now don't worry, this is not a tutorial for the knowledgeable, this is not a tutorial for the people that know everything and all of the ways around Photoshop. I, just like you, am somebody mildly acquainted with the program, uh, somebody who is able to sit down and have a coffee, but I'm definitely not number 27 in their contacts and when they, I message them, they don't respond and they, they don't answer my texts. Just, just to make double clear, extra clear, I'm talking about the worldwide release posters not the teaser posters, because sometimes for the teaser posters of these movies, they actually represent a tone and a story and highlight some aspect of their movie besides just look at all these famous people in front of you and go purchase a ticket, you got them full. Now let's get to this tutorial real quick, shall we? You better open that uh, desktop of yours and open up your Photoshop. Just hope it opens fast because my sure doesn't. It loads, eventually, only to immediately crash. But hey, now that you're in Photoshop and ready to edit your amazing idea, uh, get out of there. Don't start drawing and coming up with ideas of your own. Don't discuss with a creative team of what the idea is supposed to be. Fuck that shit, why would you do that? No, ah, oh, God. What you do is you go to the any YouTube channel that has trailers in it and you're just gonna grab as many images as you can get. It doesn't matter, just screenshot whatever, just keep saving images, grab some PNGs, just all the PNGs, all of the PNGs you can get. It doesn't matter if it's a toy, the more images you have, the better you have. It's very important. I want you to remember, we're not talking about teaser posters here, so I want you to look how the teaser poster is colorful and fun and has a very striking image. Throw that all in the trash. We will not be making that. Forget about all of these colors. That might not sell in a foreign market and we cannot for the life of us have any risk whatsoever in an advertisement of a brand that at this point cannot fail, but we're still too cowardly to try anyway. So now it doesn't matter what the trailer contains, just to clarify, we don't want to really know the tone because that would imply variety of some sense and that is not bland enough. So forget about that. Just find the most bland background possible as to not scare any potential buyers. I, I meant to say audience, I... Uh... There's creative decisions here. Now, we're gonna be putting smoke PNGs all over this bad boy. So with anything you put in there, it's all gonna be perfectly blended and well hidden. The way to make a good poster, any poster whatsoever, is just drop as many PNGs as you can. Just, just go nuts. Just copy and paste all over. Just use the same one. Don't find new ones. That would be too much work. Change the color here and there so they kind of match. And just a little bit of licks, a little bit of laps, and bop, bop, bop. Uh, now, don't worry when you're like lassoing around, you know the lasso too? You, you don't know the lasso too. Uh, just, just grab it and go, just slap it and dab it. You don't have to be exact. All you need to know about this entire tutorial is that you need about four tools. The magic brush, the eraser tool, the other brush, and the lasso tool. And the rest just comes naturally. It's just all uh, magic goo and you throw it in there and it comes perfectly. And as you can see now, we we have the, uh, the stuff that I put in there and I don't want to hear it. It doesn't look good. You shush you. I don't want to hear it. I, I just don't want to hear it. Don't tell me things, okay? You're drunk. Now, the most important thing is, is that this poster 
has a woman in it. And, and like, some of our markets, they don't like those. They, they just don't think they're cool. So like, we, we have to fix that. I like, I know we did all of this right now, but that's fine. Half of the work is done anyways. All of the effects is there. Everything is blended perfectly and beautifully. So all you gotta do is, because we have another tour, we have like three of them at this point, we can just swap them, you know? This one with the lady, it's good, it's marketable to the West, but anywhere else, dang. Now that we've done all of these things, uh, here's our final product. Oh, nope, that, that's just the Tor Chew poster. Shit.